Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group F Round 3 match between Zahu and his Skaven and Teddy Tom and his Pro Elves, uh, Elven Union. Um, Teddy Tom won the toss, chose to kick. I can show you the groups here. Teddy Tom requires a victory to join Olivier Dulac in the knockout phase. Zahu only needs a draw and of course a win will also work for him. And uh, Teddy Tom's team, he's got some dodge and he's got some wrestle. It, the problem with Pro Elves is they're just not very good, right? Like they get, they get the blitzers, they've got block sidestep. Like when you compare them to Wood Elves, that start with War Dancers, you know, skill stacked, right? War Dancers start more skill stacked than blitzers. And then they also get catches that have dodge base, so they get to stack more in there if you want to stack. They also get fast alignment. So basically, Wood Elves render Elven Union obsolete, in my opinion, unless Elven Union get like a really good package, which I don't believe they did. But maybe Teddy Tom, you know, only plays Elven Union. There's a few people like that. Um, Zahu, on the other hand, has taken the pretty much standard. Skaven build where you know you start with the Olivia Delac base and then you change things so he's dropped the wrestle gutter from the uh, one of each he's got the leader thrower he's got the guard blitzer he's got the juggernaut roger and then he's rather than a mighty blow blitzer he's got tackle which you know could be okay this game versus four dodgers but yeah in general I think mighty blow is better but I probably wouldn't drop the wrestle but there you go and so let's see what happens Blizzard. It's funny because with it being a blizzard, receiving gets a bit more value, like even more value, right, against rats. Normally you'd kick versus rats so that you can kill their team before they get to try the one turn. But with with a blizzard, there's there's somewhat of an argument for uh, receiving, right, and then hoping the blizzard sticks. And they fail a one turn in the blizzard. Who knows? I mean, completely reasonable for uh, Zahu to want to fight this game, seeing as he, you know he has rats, which uh, should be able to outbash Proels. The problem is, though, that the Rat Ogre regularly outbashes your own team and made those blocks extremely dangerous without having block and uh, with cutting his own player so that was maybe a mistake even making that block from Zahu maybe he should have made that block and uh, you know got the guy around to keep three dice because that, that could have been I could have ended disastrously for him absolutely disastrous So, not really threatening the ball too hard, but you know, even uh, even here the catchers can run forward. Interesting. It's okay going a bit slow, right? You know, surround the L, surround the L, surround the rats this turn, and then push into them. Like, you know, push in the backfield next turn. And Teddy Tom is very much a. Uh, very much a base everybody every turn kind of pro elf coach as you can see everybody is already based on turn one <laughs> absolutely instant everybody based that's a three two with a rope with a gutter runner otherwise the ball would have been exposed and the rat ogre has removed two players already <laughs> from the wrong team <laughs> Best big guy in the game, everyone. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and another 3 2 dodge. Critical 3 2 dodges by Gutters. Another 3 plus dodge. Uh, this is the point where I'd be getting annoyed by Skaven a little bit, making all these 3 pluses. But, you know. I mean, the, the problem is, there's not much you can do except force them to roll those 3 pluses, right? You just force them to roll those 3 pluses. Hope that they fail some of them ever. And they probably don't, and you probably lose. That is how. That is how Skaven work. And even if they do fail some of them, um, they can just one turn you as well. Brilliant. Hello, punter. Hello, gold stacker. Hello, Cosmic Gold. I 
I might have tried to block the rogue there, but sorry, enough, not bothering. How are I, kind sir? So this isn't enough pressure, really, is it? Right, this is very simple. Two plus dodges out, which isn't great. This this guy who was like stood around and not doing a lot probably had to be in doing something. I have to get the gutters to make three pluses. That's what you. That's what you have to do. Hey, rogue, go stupid! Oh, that's huge. Okay, this is going to be a tough turn for Zahir here. Well, it should be a tough turn because Teddy Tom should absolutely pile in ridiculously hard. Abandon the rogue and go for the cage, which he's not really going for the cage yet. Here we go. Nah, troll for a uh, troll for troll for underworld. The problem here is, apart from using a reroll for no effect. He's put all of his players on nobody now. <laughs> on a guy he was going to punch. Three players wasted. These three players could have been in and around doing things. And he's left that guy on the rover instead of just running away from the rover. Could have come to here, right? So yeah, he's just didn't really put a lot of pressure on, hardly put any pressure on him for that. And let him go back and reunite with the ogre, Rogue. And make a count. No, I'm not running it. The only good thing about the Rat Ogre is it helps you one turn. And. Uh, Underworld don't need the help to one turn. And Renegades can't. So this corner's open, but that's okay because the rogue is holding the top. I really, really, really hated giving a hit to the rogue there. That was terrible. It was terrible. Now that I'm under strict instructions to say why things are terrible. It was terrible because he had no tackle zone, so he could walk away freely. And also, if he moves, it's a 4+. plus. He had nobody next to him, so it would be a 4-plus to move, otherwise he'd just go stupid. But by giving somebody a hit, it's a 2+. plus. He's quite happy just eating things every turn. Like, he keeps basing him. Like, just stop basing him. <laughs> And he can't hit anything. <laughs> and then he can't blitz with him if he doesn't want to blitz the guys near the ball, right? Got us being very fast. Wait, it was Teddy Tom the one who was fighting the Tree Man all? Teddy Tom was the one who was fighting the Tree Man all game, wasn't he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And he's folded it up by uh, fighting the Rat Hog Roll game as well. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a feeling Teddy Tom was the just <laughs> make like a tree and get out of here. And he's done it again. He just let me. Hello, Mr. Rat Hog. Let me feed you one player at a time. Which is. Uh, not great. Kaz, though, that is great. I think it's a strip ball as well. Apple fails. Wonderful Kaz. Helps his offensive drive. Don't even think about basing this guy. No! <laughs> <laughs> no. 
You're letting him do the thing he wants to do. <laughs> oh, wow. So this is funny. Because, um... Not only because he failed. Haha, <laughs> rats. If he puts the gutter runner here and the rat ogre punches, then he could push twice, right? And then not make a screen with him. So he had to put him right behind him so that he wouldn't r run away from him if blocking this guy. You know, if he blocked him twice, if he pushed him twice, he'd be in this square and still be making the screen. But, um,. That meant that if this rogue had punched and rolled a one, he would have, he would have injured the gutter runner, and then left him completely exposed in a one in six, and then he would have absolutely like this would have been a game losing one if he'd made this block. Maybe his intention was to never make the block, but um, that would have been a game losing one if he'd rolled it. But instead, he failed this dodge instead. So I imagine he's going to three plus dodge to two D the ball, Teddy Tom. Which could work. Nope. No, it's more important to keep the rat ogre based, of course. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Would rather just get this guy ripped to shreds by a rat ogre. the dodges you know there's been quite a few dodges with the ball here like only two pluses but they could have failed this is uh one two three four five six seven eight so a three plus to 2d the ball with wrestle can he come the other way one two three four five six seven eight no no if he, if he, they don't have dodge, they don't even have dodge. They're pretty rubbish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then rush. The blizzard ruins it, doesn't it? So he's got to come all the way around. And then three plus two D. Like, has to do, that's pretty decent, right? A three plus two D. Gets the pow. Well, I think you have to push him outwards, right? Just to get a better scatter. Just for the chance of a better scatter. That's not bad, though. Oh, he didn't pick it up! Oh, he had no re-rolls left. But... I think you have to make the second rush as, as horrible as it is. As horrible as it is, I think you have to, like just do this move first, right? Here first. And then make the rush. I think you've got to, as much as you don't want to. Because otherwise the Skaven just rolls some dice. Flippin' Skaven. Yeah, he even gets to Blitz to uh, use. Um, oh. Use Juggernaut. Yeah, yeah. It sucked, it sucked. A 3-2, three, a three you know, like a 3 plus rush for the pickup without a reroll. It did suck, but you've just got to do it right. You have to get the ball in hand there. You absolutely, million percent, cannot leave the ball on the ground versus Elza Rats. Vicious Ref sends off a line rat. The so draw is no good for Teddy Tom here. And uh, this isn't a one turn. So he has to bang it in early on offense.
Like you can go through a like a win's possible, right? A win is possible. Gets to blitz this gut run three dice. Bang it in early and uh, go for a turnover two one win. PI knocks over two three rats. Really makes the two turn easier. Glorious. Maybe should have three deed. <laughs> Easy pass. Yeah, I like getting further forward there. With Blizzard. Don't take any chances. Probably should have either one deed or dodged this guy, right? Cars. Best big guy in the game. Like he's gonna dodge away from the rogue. I'm not gonna just hand off away. Duh. Duh. Hand off away. Two to the reroll. He's in. One one. There are only nine players. But he's got a chance. Nine versus ten, it's not too terrible for him. And this short kick will let him put instant pressure on. But you know, he's a he's a pro elf god, so probably going to base everybody on turns. It's a removal. Another one. First things first, just base. Mm, I'm not sure about not basing the guard. Funny enough, after, after basing everything else, I feel like basing the guard was pretty good there. Like no need to double base this guy, is there, when you can base this guy and stop him getting out this way easily, which is instantly where he goes. Oh, nope. could go stupid. And now, because he's Elven Uni and not Wood Elves, he can't, like, you know, run over quite as well, can he? But um, he can still run over it decently. It's 
It's going to surf this guy, isn't he? Which is a dubious use of two players. And you have to turn over and win. Like if he scores 2-1 then you've got to try and win 3-2, it's just that much harder isn't it? Like, it's tough obviously to stop scaling and scoring but... Oh, stupid roger. Stuns a dude. Dub skulls. Fails. Well done, best big guy in the game. Amazing. Unfortunately now, Teddy Tom's got so few players left, he's in a bit of a pickle. He's got the Blitz with Wrestle. Doesn't get him. Oh dear. Gets the pal. Catches it. He's got a chance. He's got a chance. Nice. Couple of stuns. Got the ball, stripper's gone. Instant 1D pal. Roger stays down. Does a 1D, gets an instant pow. Full pow. Okay, into two tackle zones though. Picks it up. Oh god, rats are horrible, aren't they? God, rats are horrible. I mean, they're not really trading full powers. <laughs> one guy had six dice at the ball with block, and the, the other guy had one dice <laughs> without block. <laughs> the full power. Gets the removal. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, it's turn 15. But still, I think, like, protecting the ball at all was certainly an idea rather than Completely exposing it in Chun's column. Yep. It's not what I would have done. I mean, it's still rats being rats, right? Without being rats, you'd have just still lost. No matter what you did, whereas rats are just like... Da -da 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 -da, million movement, million agility, do what we want, do what we want. Oh, fails in. So there we go, Teddy Tom fails to win. Is this, uh, just needs a push, probably, to score? go. A 2-1 win for Zahu, who, I must confess, I forgot to uh, give you the background on these two coaches. It's, sorry, it is difficult. Uh, Teddy Tom's from the UK PlayStation League Coalition is how he qualified. Zahu Spanish and qualified for the Butter Cup. And uh, yeah, there you go. Olivier Delac first place. Zahu second place. Teddy Tom and shirts making up the numbers um there you go very comfortable group very comfortable group for odl and zahu 
Though so that, that game was a little bit spicy, to be fair. In, but in the end, it looks easy. But it's not, is it? Every game's hard. Anything can happen. And uh, congrats to Zahu. Commiserations, Teddy Tom. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.